It's very low in cholesterol and it's very low in fat, so it's a really nice healthy alternative. Um, it tastes similar to venison, but it's not quite as gamey. So if you like venison but you don't, not so keen on the gamey taste, it's a great alternative. We have our award-winning sausages, and then we do burgers, steaks, joints, stewing steak, mints, you name it, we can do it. <laughs> been on the end of any controversy? Not too much to be honest it's not like it's not quite as bad as horse meat <laughs> but, um, but you do get the odd couple of people who you know will be a bit funny about it but I just explained to them at the end of the day you know if it wasn't for farming and the farming industry and people like me finding new alternative things then I, this event wouldn't be happening today and none of the food festivals in the country would happen because you need people like us who are out there trying new things. Are we allowed to know what it is now? It's really nice, it's got a bit of sweetness to it. Okay. What is it that I'm trying? Like a boar sausage or something like that? Pope's reasoning in there somewhere. <laughs> don't know what it is. There you go, and I'm about to eat a llama. Alpaca. Alpaca. Really? Is it? That's really lovely. Oh, Beth's going to be mortified. <laughs> Dad, don't I can't them. tell her we tried alpaca. <laughs> she loves alpaca, she'd be really sad. <laughs> we'll be in trouble. <laughs> Of course, you always get the people that are like, oh, they're so cute, but lambs are cute, my piglets I have in the barn are cute, you know, um, my sheep, everything's cute. But it's about making the most of the animal and making the most of, of the breed. So we do the fleece as well, and we're trying to promote them as an all-round animal. 